Hi guys, welcome to the video. This is my solo run of this week's 980 Night Nightfall Ordeal, which is the arms dealer. Now, I'm going to be using a very similar strategy to how I've done it on the Warlock. Uh, not a lot's really going to change, maybe a little bit more efficient, but roughly the same run. Uh, I'm doing it on the Titan, uh, top tree defender, which gives me weapons of light. So I'm coupling that with uh, Helm of Saint 14. I'm using Patron of Lost Causes, the Scout Rifle, it has osmosis on it, so every time I throw my grenade, the weapon will become a void weapon. Really good because there's match game on, there's a lot of void shields. Ariana's Vow, again, and Pyroclastic Flow. And you can see the mods, Tenderizer for the Unstoppables. Really, when I first come into this Nightfall the very first time, I, f I thought it was kind of annoying because a lot of champions bunched up together as you can see here at the start there are uh there's an unstoppable there's a barrier right at the start you've got a couple of incenders two incenders actually and you've got two scions so what we're going to do now i wish i could have went back and not thrown that grenade because now i have to wait i don't have to wait very long but I have to wait to get another grenade so what what we're going to do is just kill a bit of time <laughs> like that's the only reason we're doing it is to take out this unstoppable so what i kind of do because as you know unstoppable rounds they can't be shot too close together so you've got to wait for the next one to proc because i have ariana's catalyst the audio cue to tell me that ariana has reloaded is what i use uh to tell me basically i use that as a barometer for when i can recharge my unstoppable shot so what I do is fire unstoppable shot, put four, five, six rounds of Ariana into the crit point, then I store Ariana, and when I get that audio cue, then I fire the unstoppable shot again. So just come up here, wait for the grenade again. The one grenade should take out one of those incenders, and now you've got a void weapon, you can take out the, the other incender. So what we're doing here, as you can see, we just put a couple of shots on, and then I'm going to fire a rocket now, just for edification's sake. I would suggest right from the start, if you do have the catalyst, when you break the shield, store your Ariana straight away and fire the rocket and then reload it. And that will give your Ariana a chance to reload because sometimes I've noticed that unstoppables, barriers, whatever, they don't take the same amount of damage every time. And sometimes they get a health regeneration. Uh, just just immediately as they put their, their shield up. So just be aware of that. It's always good to have another, you know, six or nine shots to take down the the, unstop the, the, the champion. So I came straight out and put a rocket on the ship because solar damage has increased in this nightfall and aerial damage has increased. Now I know it's aerial damage from Guardians, but it seems like they do more damage when they're in the air as well. So And also, as you can see, attrition is on, so... We're looking for those little health bubbles. You can see one just to the left there. You can do a lot of work from up here. In fact, most of it. As you can, you might have just seen there from that solar pack that there is an unstoppable down there. There also is, and you'll see it there. I should have dealt with him right there and then. Over on the left-hand platform from where we're looking now, over there where I'm aiming, there are some sounds. You need to get rid of them. Because they kind of impair your ability to attack ads because they're going to do a lot of damage because it's solar. So now, now, now that we've attracted the attention of the Unstoppable, you'll see exactly what I mean here. The minute I actually start to get intimate <laughs> with, the, with the Unstoppable, that, that sniper comes back out. Now what? I, I kind of get a shot, he disappears again, but he just comes straight around the other side. So, luckily, I got enough shots on the Unstoppable that he's finishable. And by finishing him, he dropped one of those attrition bubbles and I got my health back. Now, I'm going to... He won't come out. AI for the ads is quite... Uh, I, can't, I can't really argue with it because that if you shoot at them or you aim at them, they will go and hide. That's what you want. You don't want ads to stand there and get shot. Unless, of course, it's in our best interest and I'm very happy for that to happen. <laughs> so... I'm going to use Ariana and just take out that sniper first because why wouldn't you? And now we're going to take out uh, 
John. That that's the new name for. They're all just called Johns. Okay, the yellow bar cabal. I don't centurions. They they're called they're called John. So we're gonna take we've took we've took him out. What we're doing is just hunting around for a little bit of ammo. Make sure your rocket launcher is reloaded. If you don't have the catalyst for Ariana, make sure Ariana is reloaded because both of these weapons are going to come into play almost immediately. So we've picked up the orb. We're going to take it with us. And it's kind of like a little little thing here. little thing. I don't know what you would call that in front of us. We're going to stand in front of this thing, shoot these dogs, and we want to take this champion. This champion's going to jump down to us. There's another dog there. Yep, note to self, kill all the dogs. And we'll put two shots on him, which he'll shield. Put another two shots on him, rock it. Now, I would suggest, as I said before, holding on to your rocket just a touch longer, just to make sure it reloads the Ariana. But again, it, it, it's no big deal. If, if, if you don't have the catalyst, just reload Ariana while he's, while he's like that, so that you've got... Another two shots, take his shield down and 40 finish. So we'll take this ship out because they're highly annoying. And again, because there's points. And I suppose and it will kill you. Now what we're going to do is pick up this charge. We're going to move and we're going to go up the ramp past the champion. You, the barrier champions for the Cabal, are the, the, I mean all the champions are pretty horrid. But they've got like multiple attacks they really they really are they're that person that you invite to the party that when they get there they're like oh, i knew i shouldn't have invited them they're just so obnoxious so what's going to happen here and you'll hopefully this won't happen but he's firing that horrible shot at me rocket hold on to the rocket I didn't hold on enough, but the rocket done good damage, so we took him down. We're going to go down here, and we're going to slam. There are a lot of... I say a lot. There are a fair amount of dogs down here, I would say. Uh, another eight, maybe. Six or eight. More than six, I think. But because I've got top tree defender class on, uh, I know I've got defensive strike, so I can pretty much... Uh, 101 Titan School my way out of this punch that you get a punch you get a punch you get a punch you get two punches you might get two punches a lot more okay <laughs> i'll miss a punch just to show you i mean business i'll come back up now i'm going to shoot and you're lucky i didn't have to punch you again i'm going to get another champion round here but you're also going to get a host of johns and steves phalanxes are now called steve Again, charge up the shot. We've got the catalyst, as I've said many times before. I will store it, and its audio cue will tell me you're good. Now, I could have, because because of how much health that uh, Unstoppable have, we probably could have just went after them with the scout rifle or just finished them. So, there goes, there goes John. There's another John around the corner here. There he is. Yep. That was waiting for you. Because normally they do run away up there. So the little Scion. Uh, you know something? Scions really do remind me of an Eddie. But it's a specific Eddie though. Not all Eddies. So you've got two Scions around here. Now while I'm taking these out. Because they're just red bars. And there's no real strategy for taking out five red bar enemies except don't do this that is world class failage it's not really that bad but before anybody asks because I, I did get asked this last time how did you not get uh, a platinum well the reason I didn't get a platinum is because the, there there must be and it's something I never gave any consideration to till I got to the boss when I didn't get the platinum I was like huh where could there be another champion? Has to be on the ramp leading up to the ship. And I normally... it's just, you. I probably could have took... A, if there is a champion up there, I probably could have took him from where I actually enter onto the ramp, which is at the top of the ramp. 
but I never thought about it because, you know, I was going to get the 100k, I was going to get the, the completion, but that's where any champions I didn't take will be over there on that part leading up to this part, on that ramp. I always take this way because even when it was a nightfall, the amount of times I thought I was home and dry that I entered onto this ramp and just Sparrow got shot or I got shot. So that's where the other champion to hit Platinum must be. But we're we're doing good time, nine, just over nine and a half minutes, 54,000. We're going to hit the 100k, no problem. So we've got two tanks in here. One is free roaming when we get in here. So as you can see, the rocket, the first rocket done decent damage. Second rocket does big damage. And the reason it done big damage is why cluster rockets are kind of, kind of really, really good for these kind of, these these uh, tanks because the cluster hits the four crit points, and if it hits them really well, because the, it's the kind of unpredictable nature, I suppose, of of uh, of clusters if it hits them really well two two or three rockets can take out a tank no problem so it's kind of like i say the unpredictable nature of clusters you know sometimes they are going to hit where you want them to hit sometimes they won't so there's our first champion there's actually six champions in this room so what we're going to do stop the unstoppable and fire a rocket which should take out a few of the ads that are around the unstoppable it only took out a couple, but a couple's better than none at all. So the osmosis that's on the scout rifle does not, it doesn't require you to actually hit anything. Just the act of throwing a grenade. So I threw a grenade eh, two minutes ago, missed everything. Literally, I was more interested in just getting the grenade off than actually killing anything because then I, I, I got the osmosis propped. So now what we're going to do is we're going to we've took out the unstoppable we've took this tank out the other tank won't come until we access the two the, the two consoles but we've got two more champions and all these ads now taking out the champions is important but the first step is do not let it's not worth letting any of these ads survive you want just you and the two champions and as you'll see once you start then in the ranks these boys are going to want to hightail it back to the champion. You know? Don't let any of them get up. It's not don't let any of them get up there. Don't let any of them stay up there when you're attacking the champions. Or even before you go to attack the champions. Because they can kind of mess your whole routine up. Because what you want to do is exactly the same as at the, the room where the left is just before the boss. You want to separate these champions. You don't want them... A, you don't want them to be aiming at you when you get into position. And B, you don't want them to shield each other. But if any of these ads stay alive and then you get into your position where you're trying to be all stealth and stuff, like here, you'll see exactly what I mean here. So I'm going to jump over and I notice get shot from behind because there was one more. I have now killed that ad. The two champions know where I am now. So my stealth mission is, has failed. Luckily, they were already separated. So I got hit really hard. Titan bubble. Helmus M14 gives me an overshield. And now it's one hit to put him into his shield. And almost one hit to take him out. Rocket does massive. And then he's dead. So now I've only got one. But just for edification's sake, it's worthwhile not relying on all those things happening. Make sure all the, the little red bar cabal are down. As you can see, I pushed up there. Now, the reason why I pushed up is because normally these champions go into cover to put their, sh their shield up. It's the most annoying. They'll get into cover where you can't fire at them. They'll put their shield up, and wait, by the time you get to them, they've got full health. Now, I'm running out of ammunition here. It doesn't look like it now, but when we get to the chat, the because now we're going we're gonna to get this tank. We're going to... Activate this top console first, then we're going to activate the console at the bottom. The reason why is because we're going to attack from here. We don't really, it doesn't really matter in what order you activate them in, but the fact that we're doing where DPS from down here is worth doing the top one when you're up there and coming down here to do this one. So 
once we take this tank, and you're going to see how I'm taking the tank out. I'll speak a little bit more about what, how, why I'm doing this with the tank. We're going to get some unstoppables before we attack the ads that were up with the tank. Now, what I'm doing is, obviously, Guardians do more damage in the air. And you've seen that second rocket. But what I'm trying to do, why I'm moving left to right, is, is obviously the tank has got me pinned. Knows where I am. But there's a point where the tank doesn't lock on to you anymore. So he locks on to your previous position. And then he will fire at the last position he's seen you at. He won't recorrect his aim. So you can stay in the one place, get two shots and then move. And he'll fire where you were. He he, he won't track you. There's a lot of enemies in this game that lead, lead, lead their shots. So to lead your shot basically means when you move, they fire to where you're going to land or where you're going to run, where, where you they think you will be when that shot gets to you. The rockets, the, the tanks don't do that. It's almost, you know, it's almost like their, their, their aiming system suffer from lag. They're like, he was there. Why is he over here now? It's because I started moving when you locked on. What's going to happen here is actually good training for the boss. So I'm 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 literally almost out of ammunition. I'm gonna have one special by the time I I fight the last unstoppable. So the, what what happened with the unstoppable is they kind of mess about up here. And when you kill the first one, if there's anyone, if there's any of them near it, then they will now push you. But the the unstoppables won't push you if you stay at the bottom of the ramp. So I took out the first one, which done a bit of damage to the second one, then stopped the second one over two. Small damage phases, two attacks, managed to kill it. The third one never came at me until I got up to the ramp because I was far enough away when I killed the second one that I wasn't an immediate threat to the third one. But then I had no ammo. So what I'm doing, as you can see, I, I, I kind of got him to jump down. When he jumped down, uh, I came up the ramp. You know, I'm, I'm kind of kind of playing musical chairs with him. That is what we're going to do with the boss. You can control these champions and these bosses just from simple movement patterns. And that's the movement pattern that I chose for that unstoppable because I didn't have the ammunition to go ham. Luckily, he dropped quite a bit of ammo for me. So this, ye this yellow bar doesn't really, really pose much of a threat, as you can see. And now we're going to get a heap of dogs. What we're going to do is put one of these, these uh, magnetic grenades right in the center of them the first one thing about the magnetic grenades just in case people aren't aware of it and i'm sure everybody is but i'm i'm sure you'll appreciate the fact i'm going to cover this base the initial explosion does a heap of damage but it om it's almost like it tags any enemy that gets affected even touched by the first explosion is now tagged the second explosion is like they all get their own first explosion that's why the first explosion never killed everything. Killed maybe one or two. And the second one seemed to kill everything. Because anything that was even on the peripheral, even on the edge of that explosion, now takes the full force of the second explosion. They all get their own explosions. It's really cool. So it's such an underused grenade. But the magnetic grenade's very good. So in this room, we have three champions. One unstoppable, two barrier. The unstoppable is there. So what we're going to do is we're going to do a bit of damage to him as much as we can. Now, after you see the, the unstoppable kind of, I haven't said this yet, but after you see him kind of go upright, he will still take that normal damage for the next, next shot. And then he stops taking that damage. So as you can see, we stopped him again using the same, uh, same routine. Wait for the, the Ariana to reload. Now you've got some elite phalanxes. One there and one round to the right. And there's one of the champions. The barriers. Now they won't really. Uh, they won't engage. They might speculative. By the looks of things. Two rockets. Is that what I'm worth? <laughs> so we'll take out these guys. Now as, I, as I've tried. The way you, the way you approach every area. Is literally the difference if you approach an area in a certain way you may you may you might think it's dead easy really easy so when you come in the next time to do it and you approach it from a different area or 
different angle. You might start wondering why it's so difficult. It was the actual angle you approached from and attacked from the first time that made it so easy. The reason I got the boss to move was because I killed his turrets. When you kill his turrets, and sometimes the Cabal, the things that are up on the platform with him, when you kill them, he will leave. It's worthwhile not having the boss there, do you see? The boss is gone. Now, it, that works on this platform above us. You kill his turrets, you kill his Cabal, and he leaves. But because I killed one of his turrets on the second one, he, he left. Now I've got two champions. So this is the ideal scenario, as you want to separate them. One will go right, one will go left. Now you see what I've done there? That's exactly what I've been saying. I reloaded my rocket launcher, which gave my Ariana a chance to reload. So now we want Big Boy to go up the same side, except he's now going to shoot at me and it gets hairy. So another rocket, reload. He puts his shield up really quickly and luckily I just had enough rounds to take his shield down and the scout rifle finished them. Be very careful of that because I've seen it before in these strikes where people have, myself included, it's happened to me once or twice to be fair, where you get out of sync with taking down the barrier shields and putting damage on them and then before you know it Barrier, barrier champion's got full health and you've got very little special. So be clever with the way you attack them. That's kind of the key word to doing ordeals or doing really any any activity. Is be clever with your attacks, be clever with your weapons, be clever be clever with the way you approach it. So it's it's worthwhile to break break a shield and stop a barrier champion getting his health back and then just taking the rest of the time to reload your weapon than it is to waste four or five shots trying to get them a little bit lower, only for them to, you have to reload at the same time they need to put a shield up. So, now, as you can see here, I fired at those enemies, and it's like there was an invisible barrier up, and I don't know if it's because I was shooting into the corner, and just at the wrong place, and the game still recognised that that was a shield, and that I was hitting the barrier, you know, that kind of head glitchy thing that happens sometimes. So I'm going to have a little look around because I need to have full rocket. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the old chain thing. I'm going to jump up the chain, which activates the boss after the after the cabal drop pod comes in and we get onto the get onto the lift. The boss is going to be at the top of the shaft the whole time. Now the rockets aren't going to do the damage they used to do in year one and two, but it's going to be enough to put him into his first incubation state. So the boss has two incubation states where he is almost incapacitated by his own mechanics. He'll be up in the tower with a with a bubble over him and he won't be sniping you. That is exactly what you want. You want him to go straight into those states without being... Because if he's up there sniping you, it's a bad day. It's kind of hard, harder to get shots on him with, you know, rocket launcher, scout rifle because... Scout Rifle has limited range. Rocket Launcher, you can dodge. You just don't want to have to put up with that. So how to do this is jump up the chain to the last kind of this section, the last dirty section. Go down, activate lift. Drop pod will come in. Kill the, the Cabal. And then when you get onto the lift, he'll be there. Hopefully we'll drop some heavy ammo. Spoiler alert, I do get a brick of heavy ammo. And while I'm doing this, I've explained what's happening here. I will just make a quick apology for my voice. I don't expect any sympathy, but I'm not well, guys. <laughs> oh, I'm fine. Just my throat's gone on holiday for some reason. So I'm going to put this uh, weapons bubble down as well. Now, now although the, the lift is going to go take us away from it, weapons light lasts for 15 seconds, 20 seconds, whatever it is. Enough time to get a couple of rockets onto him. And we get those at weapons of light values. Now, I do miss the last rocket here. Miss is a strong word. I don't miss it. It Because of where he goes, it tracks. It actually tracks the, the turret. So the turret got the full force of a rocket, which was kind of wasted. 
but we'd done enough damage to put him into his first incubation state. As soon as this happens, as you've seen, I took out down all the turrets. I didn't have to because I'm going to be moving miles away from the turrets. I'm just going to move down to this area here. The ads will follow me, but sometimes distance is safety. So now I can I can lead the ads a merry dance. We've got the ship coming in. Take the ship out because those rockets hurt. And then when the ads do push up, they'll push up up here. You don't want to be around here. The worst thing you can do as, as a player fighting anybody, fighting any set of ads, the worst situation to be in is when the ads have the higher ground. So we're just going to change the angle of their attack so that they don't really have the higher ground. They, they are higher, but the angle has been reduced. So now it seems like they don't have really the higher ground. We're in a much better position to attack them. Always try and take out the Centurion. And I'm so glad that I actually looked there because I call these guys Centurions and they're not the Legionaries. Legionaries. So now we know that. I've only been playing the game for five years. Uh, so take out these ads and then you can see on the screen there's an, there's an orb. Uh, quite Quite well documented on screen that there's an orb there we have to get that orb and we have to slam it as i'm sure most of you are aware anybody that's not aware that's how that is the point of the boss going up to these platforms the boss goes up to the platforms the ads come out and the only way to drop his platform and get him to come back down is to take this orb whichever location the orb is in the slam location will be in the opposite corner so this is top right when you turn round you'll go top right. So you'll always get a drop pod come in. In the first wave, you'll get this uh, elite, century, elite legionary. You'll get normal legionaries. And it, but at, at the slam, at the plate you slam on, there'll always be, there'll always be two legionaries and a centurion. In the second wave, the drop pod will have a centurion in it as well. So an elite legionary and a normal legionary. So we've brought the orb with us, just use Ariana to deal with him, and we're hoping we're going to get some heavy. Spoiler alert, we do get some heavy. So just clear out these ads, go and slam. The boss will drop down right here, top of that ramp. So we're just having a little look, there's we're heavy. Make sure I'm reloaded. Now watch out when the boss comes down, because he's obviously airborne, he obviously has a very powerful sniper. And I'm just going to try and put some shots on him as he's in the air. It can't hurt. Jump. Fire. And just, we want to put these three rockets on him. Making sure that we're avoiding the turrets. And we want to get him out of, into his second uh, incubation state. So we're just going to try and take out these two turrets here. And now we've got dogs. Now, as you see, he's gone straight up top, which he will do because we put a fair amount of shots. And he's went straight into his second incubation state, which is good for us. Now, you have a bubble. I've got Saint-14 on, which means anything that comes in here is blinded and they can all come in and bite me if they want. It's not happening. And weapons will help us take, take everything down a little bit easier. Anything that comes into the bubble is not a threat anymore. So we will just put a cheeky little grenade on. Kills everything in the bubble. And now we've, we've just got one normal lads to deal with. With, we still got weapons of light here. Which kind of makes everything a little bit more straightforward. This corner is where we're going to attack the boss to start with. The boss is going to come down here. Once, once we take all these ads out, we're going to go and... Basically follow the same route we did last time. We'll go and, you know, pick up the pick up the orb. Drop pod will come. We'll kill the ads. Then we'll take the orb up to the top. Drop pod. And then the boss is going to come down. We're going to come back to this corner. And we're going to use this corner to control the boss's movement. Because not only does he like to jump all over the place. But when he is jumping all over the place. He's also shooting with a very powerful shotgun. Feels like a shotgun. Feels like a shotgun I would like to use. Uh, and, and yeah, so we, we can control his patterns of movement, making him much more 
much more the, the make, making the fight more predictable but unlike when i done it on the warlock this time i am going to have to move to the other side i don't i don't like that scary scary when your your tactics have to change on the fly I'm only kidding it's not you just do the same thing over on the other side so there will always be dogs that will run away and hide and just be aware that once you once you've cleared everything out and you think you're home free Two or three dogs will come out of nowhere. That brick of heavy that that dog just dropped will be very important. I will state right now that that will be the brick of heavy that kills the boss. So, poignant, pivotal moment of the strike here. So there's the drop pod come in. I've gone down the center. We'll try and take out these ads as fast as possible. Specialist Centurion. We don't want him flying about making things difficult for us. And we'll take out these two. And then it's just the ads at the drop pod, at the slam point. Now, when the boss comes down, he's going to slam right at the bottom of this ramp. Right about here. We're not going to be there because e even though we've got full rockets, we are not, can't do enough damage to kill him immediately. Now, if I'd have went weapons of light, put the weapons of light bubble down, maybe I could have. I just didn't want to take the chance because I didn't want... You can't call this a guide and then tell people how to kind of do it quickly and, you know, just, just push them because not everybody's comfortable with doing that. This way works. Make it back down here. Let him do his thing. The other thing that's going to happen down here, which is why it's not a good idea to be running about out in the open, is we're going to get... Sniper Scions. So, I know he's coming over here. Weapons of Light Bubble. Scions. Not really too dangerous, but over the other side... Put another rocket on him. Over the other side, there's going to be four. Except there isn't going to be an Elite Scion. Put another rocket on him. That one, we only got 16,000. Now, something very kind of... Something happens here that shows you best laid plans you just have to roll with it sometimes so he runs i think he's gone and then he comes back he could quite easily have wiped me there you have to wait for him to get to the bottom of the ramp be coming up the ramp before you move so I'm, as you can see i'm waiting i'm waiting the minute i see him appear i'm off to the other side because he re there is this brick of heavy. I want this brick of heavy. And now I'm going to just try and... I'm, I'm taking this way up here. Dodging in between. So that he hasn't got a clear line of sight. And then I remember there's some scions up here. And then I realise they're a red bar. No problem whatsoever. There's still two up. Now kill, kill that one. And don't realise that there's another one until right now. So there was another one. I look, I couldn't even see it. And there he is. So now this is the last rocket to kill the boss. And there we go, guys. 980. I hope you've enjoyed the run. I hope it's I hope you've learnt something from it. Uh good luck with actually trying to do it yourself. So I'm sure that you guys are more than capable of doing it. Again, I can't thank you guys enough for supporting the supporting the content. People that come here week in, week out. You don't know what it means to me. It's it's the reason why I do it. Apologies for my voice, but I didn't want to leave you guys without a video. Good luck on the runs. Thanks for watching. And I will see you guys in the next video.